Hey, my name is Ross Pillip. I got a 2006 Chevy the Kodiak uh, 4500. It's a Duramax diesel. It's pre-def, no need for def fluid, and it's uh, pre-def emissions. So it's a good running truck with low miles. It's got the 6.6 .6 Duramax with the Allison transmission. Let's take a quick look around the truck. Alright, so it does have LED headlights. Those are your low beam and your daylight. The high beams are halogen. LED grill lights. LED fender lights. These are your wheel and M series. It's a red and white mixture. The light bar is strobe it's very hard to see in the video because of the strobes but the light bar is a strobe light bar and then all of the uh, emergency lights on the box are wheeling 900 series lights it does have aluminum rims reflective uh, striping on the side that you see here that's uh, reflective black white and uh, off orange stripe it was a volunteer fire department that used this ambulance it was kept indoors it was uh, well maintained it's from uh, I want to say it's from Virginia so there is uh, there's no rust on the undercarriage you can see it if you look at the pictures you're not gonna see any rust on the undercarriage uh, the box is very clean there is one spot that I'm gonna point out to you on the box a uh, little paint um, chipped off of it uh, aside from that um, the paint is uh, clean on this truck I'm gonna zoom in here like you see paint is very clean usually the paint bubbles around the edges up here around here and you can see that the paint is very clean on this truck same thing, the, the paint usually blisters up around the uh, hinges here, and there is no blistering on this truck. Bumpers, rear bumper is clean. A lot of times people run into, back up into things with these bumpers and dent them. This bumper is not dented. This is a Horton box. And uh, here's the spot where the paint chipped off. You can see that there. And that's the only spot on the ambulance that has a defect. And that's just cosmetic, uh, nothing structural, it's just uh, some paint peeled off there. Again, a very clean truck with no rust. A lot of times these Kodiaks, if they come uh, from a state where they use a lot of salt, the rear uh, tank, the rear air tanks, um, the undercarriage, the rust, uh, the frame rails, they all tend to rust out really bad on these Kodiaks. But this truck came from Southern Virginia and uh, like I said, it has no rust issues on it. We drove it about 200 miles. It drove great with no mechanical issues. We just had the truck serviced and inspected and there is no issues with this truck. This truck has 142,000 miles. Everything on this truck works. That's gonna control your master. This master here controls your light bar and all your emergency lights. If we turn that off, it's gonna shut everything off on the truck except for the scene lights. The scene lights are a separate uh, control and the scene lights are controlled from down here. That's gonna be your left scene light, your rear scene light, your right scene light. And these are just extras and then your ground lights 
and then that controls your traffic advisor in the back that you saw there and that's going to be your siren you got your radio and a cd player Food truck is just getting ready to pull out of the parking lot of Carnes in Mechanicsburg, uh, but if you missed it, they're going to be out all weekend tomorrow at the Allentown Boulevard, Paxton Square. Low. That works good. Engine runs solid. No check engine lights and. The heat works good, and it's very cold outside, but we can switch it to AC, and it's, uh, I heard something click, so that means it's starting to turn over, and yeah, it's definitely getting cold, but like I said, it is freezing outside right now, so it's not going to be accurate. Uh, once we get it inside, we'll be able to check everything as far as the AC goes. And it does have air horns and they do work it does have uh, power power uh, mirrors and it does have uh, your uh, power windows tilt steering is right there your headlights, power locks, power locks, um, seats are a little dirty but uh, they don't have any tears in them, it looks like they've been re replaced at one point, same thing with that seat, it's been replaced at one point. I do have to mention that this armrest uh, it does, it does have cracks in it. It does have a air dump, so as soon as as soon as the rear doors open up, the back of the box drops down for easy loading of the stretcher. You can uh, disconnect that feature, but right now it's on, as this was used as an ambulance. It was just taken out of service. Uh, interior is fairly clean. It does have a couple rips uh, in the vinyl on the squad bench right there and on the corner here and then the captain's chair has a rip right there. Aside from that it's a very clean interior. This ambulance was owned by a college park volunteer fire department and it is a very clean unit uh, drove great without many issues interior height in this truck is 72 inches so I'm 5'11", and I could stand in here without any issues. See my head there? Yeah, so I'm 5'11". Still got another inch, inch here. Alright, there you guys have it. This is a 2006 Kodiak 4500 rear-wheel drive with a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax turbo diesel engine, automatic transmission. All right, there you guys have it. Thanks for watching.